<laughs> the wire. I think the wire was on that. Wow. Feel it? It's really light. It's very light. I like the grip. Yeah, the grip's nice, eh? Yeah, it's very. It's ve it feels so strange compared to the Sony A7 II. Nice big grip, feels very light, and then it's got like a smooth plasticky feeling, right? And then look at the battery, much bigger. I don't know if it has some bat juice in it or not. I hope so. And then here's some cheap screen protectors I ordered on Amazon. I can get it open. A little flip out screen, never had that before. Play it flat. And another dust lands on it. Joys of having bunnies. It's finally enough juice, it powers on. It's supposed to be touchscreen? Yep, English. Set area, time, and date. It's May 2nd, 2022. And that's it. All right. Well, I'm back home with the Sony a7 IV now. I'm just about to get that out. Got my GoPro mounted on here today, so I'm gonna be recording some footage using the new lens. There it is. Let's see if we can get some birds today. All right, we are recording with the GoPro 7 mounted to my backpack. Hopefully this is a, a good angle. My camera strap's already in the way, but you know, we'll make it work. Now, the Sony a7 IV has a much bigger battery, so it took me two hours to get it charged up. I just powered it off because like, I don't want to waste battery while I'm out here today. However, for all I know, the battery on this uh, lasts a long time on standby. I would hope so with how long it takes to charge, even with official Sony chargers. But for now, I'm charging through the Embody ports. I haven't really customized too, ma too many buttons on this camera. The only cut button I've customized in is uh, C1 here, if you can see that. C1 is set to, in this right here, change it to uh, animal eye, to eye focus, bird focus, or human eye focus. Which I'm going to have it set on bird, but I got a quick easy way to change it if I do see something else. Pretty muddy, hopefully I don't wipe out day one with this camera. I hear ducks, perfect. Oh, here he is, okay. Here goes the first test on these ducks right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna walk over here and I'm gonna crouch right here, make myself small. All right, so it grabbed right onto his eye there. And if I zoom in, oh my gosh, it basically nailed it. I took several shots, so there may be a sharper one than that. That's insane. And I'm shooting an uncompressed raw, so I can only shoot at five frames per second, even though it can shoot at 10 when it is compressed. It's definitely having a harder time catching that auto eye autofocus. 
from a further distance. But it still captured amazing focus nonetheless. Oh my God, that's awesome. Okay, we're recording. I've got some chickadees here. Lots of them actually, holy. These little chickadees are perfect for a practice. Okay, new bird. Oh my god, yes! Okay, I gotta brighten up my display. I can't even see it. swans down by the bridge earlier. Really? Yeah. I've never seen swans there. That's cool. Oh yeah, two of them there were uh, feeding. They were pretty big. Nice. And there was two geese with them. Okay. And they were eating whatever was floating up. Awesome. I'm down that way in a minute, so. We didn't see them when we passed. Okay. Earlier they were there. All right. Well, I'll be hanging around there for a bit, so maybe yeah. I'll see them again. <laughs> Good luck. Thanks. Now, if I can stand behind this tree. Perfect. Oh, please, 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 please stay. Ah, shoot. All right, let's sit right here. It finds its eye, that's insane. Okay, there he is. Pull back the zoom. Oh, there he is. Oh, Okay, moving on. I've got enough photos of them. That is so cool. Whoa, dude. This is crazy. Some flying geese. There's the swans, cool. The swans are a little far out. Not really uh, overly worth it. All right, let's get up to the pond. Let's see what's up there. Okay, this is the way in. Oh my God, poor guy, I almost stepped on a snake. Okay, let's just be very careful where I step. There he is, hello little guy, I'm so sorry. I lost them again. Oh, there he is. Dude, they're so camouflaged in this grass. I think that looks really cool. All right, I'm gonna leave the little guy alone because I think I've traumatized him enough today by almost stepping on him and then being a freaking paparazzi to him. Wow, this all dried up. There might not be ducks here. Hey, there's a little yellow finch though. Let's sit right here on this log. Okay, just gonna use some of the phone for now. Uh, try to save some space and battery on my GoPro while I'm sitting here. So I was kind of hoping Oh, he's turning to face me. Oh, eye focus. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that uh, 
Oh, here he comes. He flew over to me and he's like, hey, here, you can have like five photos of me and then I'm out of here. <laughs> that was awesome. One of them still up, or two of them are still up in the trees ahead of me, but a male and female pair flew right over to me, really close. Um, I don't know, I got some cool photos of them. Uh, that was a bird I tried hard all summer to get photos of, but focus was always an issue with them. I don't even know what to say. I'm just like, I really don't know if I'm just like overconfident right now and really hyped up. And maybe I'm just like more focused on getting good photos at the moment. But the autofocus system, like I swear, I'm just gonna keep saying over and over and over i'm just gonna keep repeating myself to the system like it's such an improvement and it seems to be snagging photos like 80 percent of these shots seem to be good and i don't even know how to use it properly yet so i'm gonna say i you know what i, I should probably wait until i get home look at the photos and really see if they turned out well but i gotta say i i i think I think this camera is going to improve my photography a lot. The autofocus is crazy. I'm in love with it.